At this weekend's New Orleans Air Show will be the Navy's Blue Angels. And if you've ever seen the team fly, you know it truly is amazing. And now I can report it's even more impressive when you're inside the plane. I've always admired the Blue Angels and have been to a couple of the air shows, but this week I went from watching to flying in one of the jets, and I arrived back on the ground with even more admiration and appreciation for the incredible skills of the pilots. Oh, and with a camera on board recording everything, I also returned with a little extra humility. And, uh, and I'm like, oh boy, that's gonna look silly, but this is what it looks like. Alrighty, we are out of here. Yes, here's what it's like to fly with the Blue Angels. Let's start with the vertical takeoff that will pull more than six Gs. That's six times your body weight pressing against you. Now we're going to accelerate to 350 knots and then point straight up into the air. Here we go. Ready, hit it. Nice work. All done. The pressure on your body pins you against the seat, and that was just the warm-up. Next came the barrel roll. This is pretty easy to do with one jet. It's very difficult to do with six of them <laughs> as close as they are. Then a full loop with the smoke on. The big battles are not blacking out from the lack of blood flowing to your brain and not throwing up. And then we're looking for our smoke trail. You can kind of see it if you really crane your neck. You'll feel a little more pull on the back side. There we go. So the way to combat that blood loss to your brain is by engaging your lower body. The Blue Angels made sure I was prepared before I even left the ground. I learned what not to touch inside the cockpit, plus how to tighten my leg muscles to avoid passing out. Inside the plane, my ankles, thighs, waist, shoulders, and chest all had straps. All that and a very light breakfast helped me get through the twists and turns without any serious issues at speeds as high as 730 miles per hour and as low as 140. Even when the negative G-force lifted me out of the seat. All right, relax those legs. Here comes the push. The Navy hopes young people will see the show and consider joining, maybe even becoming a pilot. But the bigger mission is creating a sense of pride in all Americans for their troops. I was also given a signed poster from the team and can say on this day, mission accomplished. All right, so now this is my most prized possession, uh, the signed poster from the Blue Angels. And I'm going to try it. Let me see. How's the glare? That's... We got it, Hank? Yep. All right. So while most Blue Angels, well, while the Blue Angels, they have a lot of fans, most people don't know their names. The pilots say that's okay because, you know, it's, they're a team. But I wanted to let everybody know the names of the crew chief, Sean Donahue. He's the one that taught me how to breathe and what not to touch inside the cockpit. And Lieutenant Connor O'Donnell, who flew the machine. Incredible pilot. Thank you both and the rest of the Blue Angels for one unbelievable opportunity.